Hey everyone, welcome back to Cozy Pixels. In today's video, I will show you guys how can you edit memories of your Sims in The Sims 2 with the help of SimPE, aka the Sims Package Editor. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's jump into the video. So, if you are not familiar with what SimPE is, SimPE is a third party program made by Coaxi, and basically, you can edit every kind of Sims 2 package file with it, meaning that you can uh, create custom relationships, custom memories, you can edit your sims appearance, you can delete sims from your games etc etc. And this is the first episode of the new series which in I will show you guys how to do different things in SimPE because I think it's very useful and it can change your game and game experience a lot so I hope you guys will like it. So first thing you need to do is download SimPE from Mod The Sims. It's made by Quoxy as I said and uh, this is the one latest version 0.75f link in the description you just have to click it and it brings you to this page here i would highly recommend reading all the documentations and the descriptions just to make sure that you know everything about the download and after you did so click on files and click on this one simpe 075f ua this is the older version as you can see the this one is the version from 2005 but the latest version is from uh, 2019 so it's quite new after you downloaded the file open the RAR and you can see that this version does not need any kind of installation you only have to extract it to the place you want to have it so let's quickly do that and after you extract it just open the thing so after the program loads it looks like this uh, there's a chance that sometimes it doesn't recognize all the expansions from your game. So if you are having that issue, you have to go into Extra, Preferences. And here you can see there's a part which says System Folders. And here if uh, any of your expansions are not showing up or not working properly, you have to double click that row and locate your game manually. But most of the times it work it's working fine, so there shouldn't be any problem for you. Okay, so when everything is working properly and you want to change your sims memory, the first thing you have to do is go into Tools, Neighborhood and neighborhood browser. In SimPE, every kind of sim or uh, neighborhood type of modification starts here. So it doesn't matter what you want to do or modify in your game. You first have to click on tools and neighborhood browser. Okay, for example, let's go into Strange Town because let's say we want to modify someone's memory there. Click Strange Town and open. Here you can see at the bottom left corner that there's a loading bar until it's done don't touch anything just wait until everything is properly loaded otherwise you can face some complications after everything loaded you can see that there is a lot and lot of lot of things here but uh, you don't have to worry you don't have to touch all of those the next thing we need to do is go into tools once again click on neighborhood and this time not the neighborhood but the same browser when you click that, all of the sims will show up, which are in Strange Town. Here you can see different filters. Currently, it only shows the playable sims, so the pre-made sims in Strange Town. Also, if you have the issue where in the sim browser no pictures show up and everyone everyone's name says unknown, then close this tab and go into the extra tab and make sure that the no meta informations is not ticked because if it's ticked then it won't show the proper information so make sure that it's not ticked and restart the application afterwards okay let's say we want to edit one of johnny's memories because if you remember or if you saw the story progression video i saw that for me it doesn't make sense that johnny has a negative memory of pascal being abducted so i want to change that and maybe we can try to add a new memory for him as well so click Johnny and click open. Here Johnny's character file is open now and you can see that there are a lot of tabs which we can check. There are a lot of informations we can edit. But currently let's focus on the memories. So here you see this little box called more. Let's click on that. And here there's one called open memories. This is the one we want. After you click that, this page will show up. Here you can see all of Johnny's memories, which are in the game and a few invisible tokens, but we don't need to worry about that now. Let's look for the... Yes, here this is. Pascal Curious got abducted by aliens. And I only know that this is negative because I saw it in the game. 
So I will I want to change this for a positive memory because Johnny is an alien. I don't see why he would see an alien contact a uh, human sim as a negative thing. So let's just change that. Down here you can see the properties of the memory and we will look into this a little bit uh, later. But currently the thing is if you want to change a negative memory to a positive memory or vice versa, you have to come here into the raw data tab, click this and you can see that these are very confusing numbers and letters, but you only have to pay attention to the first row. The 00, zero says it's a 0x, zero 0, zero, 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 and 4. This is the numbering for the negative memories, which makes the memory have a red background. Now, if you want to change the color, all you have to do is switch this last number from 4 to 0. And if you want to make a positive memory into a negative one, then you have to switch the last 0 into a 4 and then the memory will change. OK, let's press commit now so we won't lose any kind of progress. Here on the properties tab, you can edit the memories. Um, you can change different uh, type of variables, but I would say let's add a new memory. OK, so if you want to add a new memory for your sims here, you can see this little button which says create new. You have to click that. OK, now you see that this little uh, became best friends with unknown pet memory showed up. This is the default which shows up every time you try to add a new memory. Now, if you want to edit this, we have to come to the properties tab and here you can see every kind of details about this memory. Here at the name row, you have to choose from the drop down a memory you want to assign to your sim. And for Johnny, let's just let's say this one first date with the subject. You see the icon already changed, but it still says the first date with unknown. Now to change that, um, first we have to go to this row which says owner and you can see there's a little button here which says me. For the owner row, you always want your sim to be the owner. So you just press the me button and you can see that it automatically populates with Johnny Smith's name. You don't have to look through the drop down anymore. If you scroll down, you can see that the subject can be either a sim or an object. But now, because the first date with a sim is a sim subject, then here we click the drop down and look for uh, Ophelia. You can type the name and it will show up. You can see now that the first date with Ophelia Enigma's memory is in Johnny's memory library already. Here, if you choose a sim, you don't need to choose an object. It's either this or that, but you don't have to choose both. Now, press the commit button again. And after you made every kind of modifications you want, go to the save icon and click it. After this, it's safe to exit sim PE. Also, I should mention that if you want to remove memories, then you can just press the remove button. It's not really complicated. It does what it says pretty straightforward. So I don't really want to talk about that a lot. After you save the modifications, let's go into the game and see what we did. OK, so here we are in the Smith household and let's see if the memories show up properly and we did everything right. So here we go. Memories. And you can see that the first date with Ophelia memory shows up and if you click it, Ophelia's picture shows up and um, it means that we did everything properly. And if you noticed, the Pascal got abducted by aliens memory is no longer red as it should be in default, but it's green because we changed it in SIMPE. So this would be it basically. It's not that hard once you get the hang of it. Please, if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments. I am more than happy to help. If you think this video was useful, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you on Friday. Bye guys!